Alright, so today, after actually three weeks of waiting, it wasn't too bad because usually it's like six to four to six months. Have the CMP Garand. This is a special grade. I've looked up the, looked up the serial number. Uh, it should be at Springfield, October 1943. So I'm um, pretty excited to see what we have in here. Um, let's get, well, that's not suitable. Let's get started. This should do. Okay. There we go. Right. <laughs> Only one way to do things, you know what I mean? Go big, go home. Alright. Okay. Alright. This is it. Okay. Everyone in their videos always opens this up slowly and goes through the paperwork and everything and it's so obnoxious. So I'm gonna do it too. Okay. So what do we have in here? Let me guess, it's a receipt and a certificate. It's a receipt? Well. And a certificate. That's pretty Anyway, all right, so like I said, everyone does that and it's freaking ridiculous. So I decided I'd be the one too. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. That's pretty neat. All right, let's see what our reading is. Muzzle reading 2, throw reading 2, 2 plus, with an original GI stock. That's really cool. Yeah. Alright, my wife is ridiculously laughing at me right now, which is okay. <coughs> Here, that's a, that's a really good looking rifle right there. Rifle, don't freaking say gun, the guys will get all over you. It's got some battle wounds on it. It's really cool. Alright, I might do a more in-depth detailed video later on, but that's kind of what we got right there. It's a really nice score if you ask me. I think that's really cool. Springfield Armory. So I appreciate it. Is it right? Alright, so I got this squared away. I went ahead and took everything out. Kind of give you guys a better view of everything. I'm still pretty stoked about it. This, uh, this rifle came out really nice. Like I said, it's the Springfield Armories, um, October of 1943. Uh, muzzle reading 2, throat reading a 2 plus. Overall, really cool quality. Everything on it's pretty much Springfield from what I've seen. There's a couple things that aren't. Uh, the Springfield Armory bolt, um, actually IHA, which is pretty neat. I'll try and open it up in a second. But basically, this is what you see and what you get. Um, rifle. Nice stock. It's got some indentions and whatnot. You can see the cartouche right there. Hopefully you can anyways. Um, kind of flipping things over and whatnot. Comes with this little baggie right here. You got your clip and paperwork and whatnot. Pretty normal stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up for you guys and get this squared away. Alright, hopefully you can see this. It was re-arsenaled. Uh, it's pretty neat. LEAD 864 uh, month and year. And that's the, re -ar the armory. Uh, I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up again. But um, as you can see, I mean, that's that's pretty cool as it is. I know some people really collect for stuff like that. Most everything in here is Springfield, except for this piece right here, which is H&R. I believe that's the... I don't even want to say that they're wrong because people be all over me for it. But anyways, uh, most of that is all correct, which is pretty cool. I'll have to take it apart just to confirm. Uh, same with most of these upper pieces. I'll have to look at that. Barrel is LMR. It's pretty hidden right now, but I, let me see if I can go ahead and lock this back with one hand. Yep, uh, LMR barrel, uh, A53, so I think that's really cool too. Um, so overall, like I said, very, very happy with this rifle. Um, got a lot of good good things about it. I like the stock, Springfield Armory, World War II, exactly what I was looking for. Very pleased with it. 
Once again, the Civilian Marksmanship Program has done an excellent job. And I thank them very much. And I really look forward to ordering my next one. We'll see how it goes. Might be a little while, but still a very cool rifle, and I recommend everyone to do it. All right, thanks, guys.